What's up guys? Thanks for stopping back by the channel. Same old, same old here at the Auto Shop Life. I'm actually getting ready to get out of here for the weekend. Waiting on the last customer to uh, come pick up their car. Want to shoot a quick one for you guys real quick. As you can see on the floor, I got the trio back at it, but just wanted to go through. You know, I got uh, probably the popcorn machine, I don't know, three, four months ago, whatever, and they kind of slowly in line. Then I won the fridge and the, the oven. But uh, I want to go through these guys, give you guys my review on them. Check it out. Shut up and sit down. So before getting into it, I got them all three here together again at the shop. And what I mean by that is I got the popcorn machine first, won that on the uh, Dream Drive. I think I won both the fridge and the popcorn machine on the Dream Drive. The, uh, the oven I acquired another way. Um, believe it or not, I haven't used the Snap-on popcorn machine. It's, uh, I won it, took it home, it's been sitting in the garage you know, pretty much ever since. I just drug it back to the shop here because I got some ideas on what I'm gonna do with these bad boys. Um, you know, definitely use the fridge. That was actually in my house upstairs and then the oven hasn't left the shop. I've had that here since I've uh, gotten it and I've used the fridge, I've used the oven. I already have a popcorn machine at the house so I never really, uh, you know, if you, guys, if you guys cook popcorn out of a popcorn machine, you know how much of a hassle it is to clean up and deal with it. So. I just never wanted to uh, get it all greasy and messy, so I just never used it. So you can see, still got the paper in there. So as far as a review on this one, you know, outside of it, uh, you know, definitely looking pretty awesome, you know, for a in big industrial popcorn machine. It's the biggest one they make. I'd rather have seen maybe a pop, small popcorn machine, as small like the fridge, and a fridge, you know, this big. But measurements on these things, the oven's the biggest. We got, uh, 20 inches wide by 18 deep and then the height on this popcorn machine is 30 inches and then the fridge comes in at what do we got about 22 21 and three quarter and then I believe it's 20 by 20 so oh no 18 three quarter by 18 and a quarter and then this one's the widest the oven's the widest at 24 by 20 give or take, standing about 15 inches high. But oven's been great, been using the heck out of it. Um, definitely cooks a mean frozen pizza. I had to get some, uh, some of gloves for it because you get to using this thing and this door gets super hot, you can't even touch it. So I had to get some gloves for it. Also got a uh, little tiny pan that fits in there for the pizza rolls and all that stuff. We cook corn dogs out of this thing, frozen pizza. I mean, you name it. Definitely pretty nice. Here's all the controls on it. I'm not sure if I showed you guys this when I got it. I know I did a video on the fridge and then we did an unboxing on the popcorn machine when I got it. I can't even remember, what was that, February? I can't remember. Um, but they've been pretty great. You know, at least these two that I've used. Um, getting ready to set up a lunchroom probably here at the shop. And then the fridge, I got it empty now. Just got this back from the house. You could definitely fit about, you know, 24 cans in here. I've crammed, I crammed about probably 10 Gatorades in here. You know, uh, the, the 20 ounce Gatorades or whatever the, they are. And then, uh, you know, random stuff, sandwiches and stuff like that. They got the shelves in here. You could kind of adjust them. I had it at one point where I didn't have the shelves in there at all, but you could kind of go, you know, make stages on it, you know, one, two, three, have it all separated, nothing in the door, but definitely keeps them cold. 
keep the water in there, probably put these in the office, throw some water in here for the customers and us in the summertime. Always got to have those cold drinks on hand. And then the popcorn machine, I don't think I'll ever use. Like I said, I just don't see a use for it. I got a popcorn machine at home, so, you know, a popcorn machine would obviously sit for a display. So, let me give you guys the part numbers for them, in case you guys asked. I believe they're on the back. Here's the oven. You guys can see. Model number. Then we got the fridge. A little bit bigger letters. You guys can make that out. And then the popcorn machine. So, but my plan is, I got a bunch of extra space up there. You guys obviously follow the channel. You guys know I built the upstairs, so I got easy access up there. Got a bunch of stuff up in there now, but I'll probably end up building a little small lunch room. You know, uh, build a couple walls up there, get a tiny lunch room in there, get it AC'd out. So in the summertime, we could have a place out here in the shop to cool off, eat lunch, cook some food, whatever, have a fridge up there instead of going in the office. But that's it. I figure I'd shoot a quick uh, you know, review, at least on the two that I've used. Snap-on fridge, definitely awesome. I, if I had to pick a favorite out of it, I'd definitely probably say the fridge. I haven't used the popcorn machine yet, so I don't know, but you know, I'm not huge on popcorn. I'll be movie night, maybe put that at home in the home theater, but really at this point, keeping them here at the shop, popcorn machine for display, and then uh, using, definitely using the oven and the, uh, the fridge. But until I get a chance to get up there and get that all cleaned up, during the busy season, probably just toss them in the corner of the office for now where I was going to put the slot machine. So, wrap this one up. As always, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Catch you in the next one. Signing out.